Hello and welcome. You're watching NewsX with me, Devika Chopra. The war between Israel and Hamas has entered its 10th day with the Israeli Air Force now neutralizing two more Hamas leaders, one of whom was the commander behind one of the heinous kibbutz attacks. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has vowed to demolish Hamas. Meanwhile, the White House announced that Israel has confirmed turning the water supply back on in southern Gaza, which is currently tackling water shortage. The Israeli energy minister Katz said that this decision was taken after talking uh, after the talks between PM Netanyahu and the US President Joe Biden. Meanwhile, my colleague Akshat Gupta has filed an exclusive ground report from Israel. Let's have a look. Well, the war continues to escalate between Israel and Hamas and uh, now the conditions in Gaza also uh, have been, you know, deteriorating, uh, deteriorating for the past uh, three or four days because uh, it has been under a total siege and total blockade from Israel. The water supply, the food supply and the electricity supply has also been cut. Uh, but uh, for the Gazans, uh, the water supply uh, uh, in the southern Gaza uh, region uh, is now being uh, opened uh, by the Israel. Uh, 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 in the wake of uh, the uh, humanitarian crisis uh, deepening over there and Israel uh, has now said that half a million residents have left northern Gaza uh, for the south as it gears up for the coordinated attack from air, sea and land uh, in its retaliation uh, to the unprecedented attacks by the Hamas, uh, Hamas militants last week, which has actually shaken the entire world. And, uh, and uh, if, if we just also tell you, diplomatic efforts are also you know, underway to address the crisis, uh, which is currently intensifying. Uh, because the U.S. Uh, President uh, Joe Biden also yesterday spoke uh, and once again, you know, condemned the attack. Uh, and uh, Israel has been uh, launching uh, its offensive uh, against the Hamas militants continuously because uh, yesterday night also uh, heavy air strikes uh, could be witne uh, could be witnessed by the uh, uh, could uh, could be witnessed. Uh, from both the sides, of course, uh, heavy artillery, uh, many military tanks uh, have also been stationed uh, near, near the Gaza Strip uh, for that uh, coordinated attack from air, sea and land. Uh, and if we just also tell you about some uh, latest information, then of course the, uh, the, the Palestinian embassy has uh, said that the foreign uh, national of the uh, uh, pal uh, foreign national Palestinians will be uh, able to cross the border into Egypt uh, starting at uh, 9 a.m. today. Uh, because, uh, because uh, and um, uh, Israel has uh, of course uh, continued to hit uh, Gaza uh, with with the airstrikes and also has warned once again uh, uh, the people uh, living on that side uh, to actually evacuate that place to actually flee that it uh, place uh, very quickly uh, because uh, anytime soon that ground assault uh, can possibly you know take place uh, and of course uh, all the equipments uh, everything has been uh, stationed over there and more than. Uh, 2450 people have been killed in Gaza and 9200 have been injured if I can just read the data and in Israel 1400 people have been killed uh, and 30, 3500 people have been uh, wounded of course that death toll you know uh, continues to rise and it also perhaps uh, continues to take a toll uh, on the uh, people's normal life also. Uh, well, uh, the U.S. Uh, continuously is supporting uh, Israel and, uh, and currently now we are in Tel Aviv also where you can actually see uh, we are one of the very famous uh, uh, nearest uh, beaches and uh, perhaps uh, you know this whole beach is quite em empty what used to be very lively uh, full of people in the morning hustle and bustle uh, with uh, people coming he uh, here uh, for jogging uh, to rejuvenate is now empty because perhaps there is a sense of fear prevailing in the pe among the people also. So, of course, uh, um, a lot is happening uh, with the people of Israel uh, as we talk to them also. They are saying that uh, peace uh, should be established soon because now it's a decades long conflict. So, of course, uh, we continue to bring all the life updates, uh, life from the war hit country Israel. And it remains to be seen as to how this war actually pans out. In Tel Aviv in Israel with camera person Dinesh Thakur, Akshay Gupta for NewsX. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.